Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me once again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with another or probably the last C9 video for a while again. And I'm here with the shadow skill box that have been kind of revamped. And as I said in the initial shadow rework video that there, the patch notes are saying something about Rising Slash which is not there. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if they uh, scrapped the idea and then just forgot to alter or fix the description. Or they just, I don't know what exactly there's going on there. But we're just going to take a look at, at the seven books. Uh, the one I haven't been able to equip right now is, I only have six slots, is Vital Spiral. So I'll do that in the second video. First off, we have Vital Cut, our dual Vital Cut. Um, for this one to trigger, you have to hit something. So I was going to hit this chest here. Wait, no. We have to hit more. Wait, am I stupid? Do I have dual Vital Cut even learned? Not that I don't... yeah. Oh well, maybe I need to hit a target, I don't, I don't know. Welp, we're just gonna take this. Then we have a side break, at least I can show you this one. This is what it looks like, left one, right one. And the backwards one is kind of fancy, because it does this little, um, yeah, wave thingy, which is like Shadow Star, but faster and bigger. Which is kind of, uh, kind of fun. Uh, then we have Ankle Cutter. Um, which is gonna look like this. Pretty, pretty fancy. I don't think Ankle Cutter changed though. I'm not sure if any of the books really changed, but yeah. This is what Ankle Cutter looks like. Then we have Shadow Tall, and this one is, this one's kind of neat. And uh, then we have Shadow Star, probably one of my most favorite books. And uh, because he just goes super ham on throwing things around. And for the final one we have currently equipped is uh, Deceptive Cutter. This one is a bit tricky to use, at least I haven't figured out a way. Um, because if you hold left click then he'll jump in the air and if you hold right click then you run the risk of um, super quickly just triggering your air steal, which is a bit weird. So I'm gonna try it again to show you the upwards momentum. This is what he's gonna, like if he hits he'll jump after the enemy and then you can press right click. Anyways, let's do the same in shadow mode to see if anything really changes. Like I said, I can't really show you the dual vital cut yet, but there we just go mimicked hits. So this basically just adds a dual version. It's good that they managed to fix or like make the shadow mode work with the books as well. So that is very, very good and interesting. So shadow talent is, as I said, very, very neat. This, I think this one's gonna pack a lot of punch. Same goes for this one, and last but not least, we have this one. Okay, let's just do some damage testing, really, and hopefully I can show you guys what the book looks like. Yeah, that's the book. So apparently you do need to hit enemies with it. Oh, wait. Lame. Let's go for ankle cutter, then. Okay, maybe I need to press right click after the uppercut. Let's see. So, like, shadows are throwing a lot of hits around these days with the shadow mode with these new books. It's kind of kind of really good, actually. Wait. Am I stupid? I'm very certain that uh, Deceptive Cutter has this uppercut. First created after first hit. By holding right click. Alright, I'm gonna hold right click after... After I don't know what. Oh yeah, there we go. So you do have to pretty much hold right click the moment you impact. And then as I said, if you hold it too long, the problem is you're gonna instantly trigger air steel, which is kinda of bit uh Yeah. The timing's very strict, I'm not sure why, that's just probably they didn't pay really attention to what hotkeys they were using. So uh, yeah, it's not it's not really their fault, I guess. Okay, this is what the additional motion looks like without interruption. Anyways, let's just go ahead and uh Clean up the mobs here. Do some fancy pants thingies. Maybe I should buff myself. How about that? Shadow Talon Pole and that dual hit is really, really strong now these days. You probably have seen other people with like good equipped shadows to do something, so yeah. Obviously I'm not the best source for hardcore PvE 
in C9, but I'm pretty sure like some Koreans are having very very good equipped shadows and stuff, so you should be able to find what you're looking for there. Anyways, let's just go ahead and kill the boss really quickly. I do have shadow mode for around uh, another 40 seconds. That should be good. I don't have fury, unfortunately, but let's see. Well, that's a lot of damage. Damn. I can block most of it. Oh yeah, definitely those books are, are pretty, pretty good. They help quite a bit. Oh, well. Damn you, I'm gonna pop Fury. Just because, why not? Wow, that was a pretty, pretty damn big hit. But keep in mind, like I said, this is uh, hard mode, so yeah. Anyways, let's go back to the town, equip the Vital Spiral book. And uh, yeah, like I said, um, if you want to see the original video, uh, I'm not sure where the playlist is. I'd have to browse my channel really and uh, take a look because I did already showcase the other uh, books so um, as far as I know these scalings haven't changed at least according to the patch notes so we should be good. So let's dive right into and show you guys what Vital Spiral looks like. It looks pretty much exactly the same as it looked back then which is pretty pretty powerful but let's just go to the description uh, really quickly you basically can charge Vital Spiral now or you can pop it earlier and if you charge it you get like high reach more slashes and uh, some kind of projectile which is really fancy so if I just use it and oops so what I wanted to do if I just use it and don't press anything he's gonna charge and uh, this is what it's gonna look like and fancily enough it's working with shadow mode as well so this is this can rack up some serious damage i think this is probably pretty powerful and uh, this is something one of my uh, viewers told me that if you press left click during the air um wait yeah it's a bit tricky i'm not sure when i have to press it i think it's like when you're falling down like right click is air seal, but if you press left click at the right moment, you'll do this little somersault thingy, and apparently that deals damage as well. So I'm gonna try and hit somebody with it. Yeah, it does actually deal damage. Well, I didn't know that. That was something completely new. It's like 20k. It's not. It's not bad. Um, the hitbox is very very strict, uh, but this can definitely be quite annoying to deal with in intrusion I imagine because he's like super mo mobile now so yeah this can be quite tricky I'm not sure which book I just switched out really but let's just go for it let's just go for it uh, whiffed it ah damn you Just want to see how much Vital Spiral can do on the boss with the book and the Shadow Mode. It's probably going to hit quite a bit, so... Let's go for this one. Looking good so far. I'm going to just... Go complete mayhem on these guys. Get them out of the way as quickly as possible. Like, and if you click it earlier, it's not gonna charge. So I think the projectiles at the end are not gonna be that much. But you just saw how much range you can actually cover with this skill now. It's like the dash goes super, super far. Wait, I missed my Izuna. You meanies. Like, if I hold forward, this is the distance we're gonna cover. This is pretty scarily fast. Alright, I'm gonna see what I can do. Buffs are still running. I wanna try and knock him down. No, maybe not. Super armor is good. Yeah, that was, that was a ton of hits. Damage wasn't actually that big, I think. But it delivered a super good amount of hits. This should be able to kill him now. Yeah, this is 
Like, if you have the right gear, and imagine, like, head dealing, I don't know, 100k, 200k per head, that's like, holy hell, that's a lot, a lot of heads are gonna be dealing. No, I wanna go to town. No, eh. Oh well. Yeah, anyways, this is all really about the Shadow rework, the final video that came, like, two weeks late or so. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but, uh, yeah, you know, I was kinda lazy, then my books expired, so I had to ask for new ones. So I could do this. Uh, but yeah, here it is, the complete shadow rework. Like I said, the patch notes say something about Rising Slash. I did not manage to find any conclusion. Nobody really knows why it's there or why it's not there, so that is a bit confusing on that part. But that's that's really it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time, which is most likely going to be For Honor content. So stay tuned for that, and see ya.